And here we go. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome to the channel. My name is Samurai. I'm Janina. Hey, I'm Sarah. So we are getting into some dash cam footages. Mm. It's been a while. Spook season. Spook season. Spoopy. And it's basically one of the kind of videos that we really enjoy. We're See. engaged in these videos as the time comes on. So I believe this is the eight most. I mean, they've had many, many compilations here, but this is from Chilling Scare. It's Yay! eight most disturbing things caught on dash cam. I believe it's been a while since they uploaded a dash cam footage video. And now's the time. It's, now's the time. Exciting time. So, are we ready? Oh. See, senior. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah. these. Yeah, yeah, I'm real ready for this. So, if you do like our reaction, please like, comment, subscribe, and also hit the <laughs> notification bell. All right, let's do this. Let's get to it. And here we go. Oh, I miss driving in the snow. I've never done it. Driving in the snow? Mm -hmm. The chain and everything. Oh, that's cool. The stash cam video was captured in Nuevo Laredo in Mexico. Oh. A man and his wife had just crossed the border into the country in the early morning hours of January 3rd, 2020. Shortly after, they were met by this sight. Cars stopped at a light, blocking the road with multiple people standing nearby. As the driver approaches, the car in the middle lane pulls forward and the people outside gesture the driver to pass through. Ah! However, just as he tries to do so, a pickup pulls around the corner and blocks the open path. Excuse me. That's when the people outside begin banging on the driver's windows and pulling at the door handles. does whatever they can to get the vehicle to stop, but the quick maneuvers of the driver allow him to speed around the blocking vehicles and get away back in the opposite direction. Groups such as this one are commonly known to set up roadblock traps like this in different areas. Typically they'll be looking for passing trucks to steal, which they'll then use for a multitude of different purposes. However, they'll also steal wallets, cell phones, and other valuable items from these unsuspecting drivers. Multiple reports of stolen items, including cars, were filed that morning. James Shaw Jr. was a self-proclaimed auto enthusiast. He owned a Subaru Forester and would commonly take it out for joy rides around California. On January 4th, 2015, James was out on Angeles Crest Highway for a scenic ride through the San Gabriel Mountains in Los Angeles County. Because it goes over the mountains, the Angeles Crest Highway is one of the highest elevated roads in Southern California. James was nearing two tunnels and recalls speeding up because he said the echo from the tunnels made the exhaust sound better. <laughs> However, the road had a sharp turn directly after the second tunnel, something James didn't know at the time. But he was going too fast to make that sharp of a turn, resulting in a loss of control. He was left skinning towards the edge, all of which was captured on his dash cam. Oh shit, no, I James's car hurls over the edge. However, in a sheer stroke of luck, a drain pipe sticking out from the slope catches his car, saving him from crashing down the mountain, oh. which almost certainly would have been fatal. On top of that, James was left completely uninjured after the crash. Wow. He shut off the motor and stepped out onto the drain pipe. From there, he climbed back up to the road and called for assistance. Wow. A recovery tow truck retrieved the car, but it was completely totaled. A year later, he posted the dash cam footage online, acknowledging his mistake and hoping others would be able to learn from it. He ultimately admitted that he wasn't paying full attention and had mistakenly assumed the road continued straight after the second tunnel. Oof. 
This is a dangerous act. The stash cam footage act. was taken on June 2nd, 2022. What? It happened Recent. in Australia. The driver of this vehicle had both a front-facing and rear-facing camera. Around 5 p.m., the driver was pulling up to a red light to turn left. In the rear-facing camera, a Mercedes can be seen pulling up just behind it. Ooh. Almost immediately after, the driver's side door swings open. A man gets out and starts quickly approaching the vehicle, holding some sort of metal object. Um. Yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, he just went. Wow, he just saw it. He just took off. Fortunately, the driver happened to be looking in the rearview mirror when the door opened, which gave him enough time to react. That is cool. He was forced to drive off the road and through a patch of grass, cutting three cars in front of him. The man with the Mercedes was left standing in the roadway. The driver who uploaded the footage doesn't know what the man wanted. He mentioned how it was possible he could have cut off the Mercedes earlier on the road without knowing but evidence of this was never found anywhere in the footage. He could have been trying to rob the driver, or so maybe random. even worse. There's no clear way of knowing for sure. That's so random. Probably robbery in progress, carjack. That's in the middle of the traffic. On August 1st of 2021, a forest fire in California, later named the Antelope yeah. Fire, was started by lightning. Oh. Over the next few days and weeks, the fire quickly started spreading. During that time, multiple groups of fire trucks around the area were sent out to try and contain it. The footage you're seeing was taken at 1 in the morning on September 10th. This truck was one of many in a group that was sent out that night. They were driving on a road that was close to the fire, but that? because of the wind's direction at the time, they quickly got That's overrun. Crazy. I mean, this was all fine when we were driving down here Spread quick. two hours ago. Wow. And I guess when it got away from us back there, Went a little bit deeper interior and just. 244, engine 1671, keep driving as fast as you can. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, we need to go. This guy's driving slow, but we need to get the f out of here. Drive. Ah! Uh -uh. Drive, bro. Holy. Engine 334, 1671, where are you? Are you on section 14 yet? Go! Go, dude. This guy needs to drive. Where are they going? They're firefighters, yeah. Oh. We're backing up. We're cut off heading north. Out of. Copy that. Yeah, we're we're just going to turn around. Turning around is not an option. The road in front of them had been engulfed by the flames. But by now, so was the road behind them. This forced them off the road to find another path. Go, 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 go. Ooh. Go, go, go. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, 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 yeah. oh my God. for the driver too, He's trying to get on the road. Get out of here. Oh my god. They're just trying to stay on the road, but it Finally, couldn't see. they reach a clearing and make it out of the fire. Ooh. Though some of the other trucks wouldn't be as lucky. A few of those trucks would be pretty badly damaged. But other than one of the drivers receiving burns to his hands, every firefighter made it out oh, uninjured. It wouldn't be until October 15th till the fire was 100% contained. Ooh, dang. That's crazy. Two months, three months. 
This footage was captured in Slovakia back in 2012. A family was taking a drive on a narrow country road with trees closely packed on both sides. Eventually, they come across a fallen tree covering the whole other side of the road. However, they continue on. But just in front of them, they find another. As they approach the second one, cracking can be heard just in oh, front of them. I heard it. A tree was falling, and it started a domino effect with oh, more trees no. falling closer and closer to their vehicle. The family attempts to reverse out of there, but the trees catch up to them and fall oh. directly on top of their car, no. leaving them trapped. Meanwhile, even more continue to fall on top of them. Holy sh The tree's falling was later discovered to be the result of what's known as ground destabilization caused by excessive amounts of rain. In the last eight days, it had rained pretty much non-stop in the area. This waterlogged the soil, making the ground loose, which essentially made it so all the trees didn't have a firm hold in the ground. So when one fell, the small force it put on the surrounding trees was enough to take them down with it. The vehicle clearly suffered damage, however, it's unclear if anyone inside of it was injured during the incident. Shit. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's the stash cam footage was taken from a pickup truck in Chile. This video is wild. The driver had just gotten on a highway on ramp. As he continued forward, the vehicle just in front of him starts using their brakes to slow down. Uh -oh. Why? Eventually, they come to a complete stop altogether. Uh -oh. Wow, there's no way out. That's when the vehicle's doors swing open. Two guys get out, one armed with what looks like a gun. <laughs> oh my gosh. Initially, the driver tries reversing out of there, but there was now a car behind him. Mm. This gave him no other option than to push forward. Push it. You have to. Oh, shit. He's gonna mm. do it. Mm. He's gonna yeah. do it. <gasps> Dang! Can mm. you, like, push cars like that? If yeah. we a bigger car. That's like... Holy... That's like GTA! Yeah. <laughs> hey, stars. stop really that in GTA! The vehicle was pushed far enough for the driver to get onto the highway. During the push, the brake lights of the attacker's vehicle yes, are shown turning on. But this has almost no effect on the pickup. The wow. video was shown to police to help identify the men. It was also posted online, to which a few days later, the real owner of the vehicle used by the men recognized the car as their yeah, own. Stolen vehicle. It turns out the car had been stolen a few days prior to this video being taken. This is what led police to believe that the men were also trying to steal the pickup. Oh. Dang. This happened in Canada, north of Toronto, in May of 2021. The dash cam footage shows a vehicle driving down the road. <gasps> oh, 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 shit! Just in front of it. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, man. Whoa. Oh. The plane just barely missed the hood of the vehicle, and it crash landed, hitting the ground in the long grass oh. across the street. Oh. You imagine. The plane suffered damage to its nose and sides. Two were inside the plane at the time, an instructor and a student. They were attempting a touch and go, oh. which is a training exercise where you land on the runway and slow down, only to accelerate again for another takeoff immediately after. It's basically used to practice multiple takeoffs and landings in a short amount of time. Oh. However, this time the plane had failed to regain enough altitude when it tried taking off again, oh. forcing it to speed across the road into a crash. Fortunately, no one on the ground was hurt, Oof. and neither the instructor nor the student received any major injuries. Wow. <laughs> I the seen that on the heck? <laughs> this dash footage was recorded in May of 2020. Shown is a vehicle driving down the road in heavy rain and high wind. The area had been seeing storms like this for the last few weeks. As the driver pushes through it, up ahead, power lines begin to tip over. Oh. One of them gives out and takes many others down with it. Oh, domino effect. explode as they hit the wet ground. Cables and debris are left strewn across the highway. 
A man on a motorcycle coming from the opposite oh. direction can be seen stopping and running on foot into a field to get away from the wires. Oh, that's good. And shortly after, the driver with the dash cam does something similar. He drives off the road onto a nearby dirt path, power lines still exploding in the distance. It's unknown if anyone was injured during the incident. That is wild. That is wild. Yeah. The best move right there was to be out. Wow. Dude, that was. This Ooh. is a wild ride. That was like the wildest video. Holy cow, the airplane near. Yeah. Fire. Fire. Robbery. Fire. Trees. Carjacking. Carjacking. There's yeah. a couple of carjacking. Holy. This was a good one. This yeah. was a hell of a mix. Yeah. yeah. The plane one just definitely just a whoop. There it is. That is crazy. I <laughs> just <laughs> imagine the plane just, you see it on the H1. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> 10 out of 10, though. That was crazy. Yeah, it's been a while since we've seen one, like a dash cam compilation like this, but this, like, blew all the other ones away, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Dude. Yes, yeah. so and then the one with the guy who was going full speed in the tunnel, and then, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I like that pickup truck, it's GTA. Yeah, I know, you really do that. Yeah, I mean, a truck could push a smaller vehicle, yeah. I, never, I don't know, I don't know, I thought it was a video game thing. Yeah. I've never been involved in that type of stuff. No, I'm just <laughs> yeah, 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 I've or never like seen it. anything. Yeah, that's, yeah, that was very, crazy. Very spooky, yes, very spooky. Yeah. That was a good video. It's it was, yeah. Ten out of ten, definitely. Not nice, good footage. <laughs> it is good footage, good explanations. Yeah, good narration, like always. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was Chilling Scare. Uh, eight most. Uh, that was Chilling Scare. Eight most disturbing things caught on dash cam. So if you do like our reaction, please like, comment, subscribe, and also hit the <laughs> notification bell. And we'll catch you in the next one. Ta -da for now. Bye. Achoo. He stood up straight for the plane. You're like, whoa. That was wild. <laughs>